Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we're going to take a quick look at the software on the MyTouch 4G. Just got ported over the Nexus 1, uh, we've already brought you a whole bunch of screenshots, so now it's time to actually look at it and use it and see what it's like. So it's not entirely indicative of how fast it's going to be on the MyTouch 4G, but you'll get a pretty good idea. Uh, here we have the basic home screens. It's very kind of similar to the normal HTC Sense that we're used to, but it's obviously a new version of it. Um, it's a little more blocky. Widgets and icons still move around just like normal, right? Press and hold, and you can move things around. Um, it looks a little more blocky to me than uh, stock sense that we're used to today. Uh, see, I just got an email there, so there's your uh, volume notification. And let's look at the notification bar. It's actually pretty interesting. So you have your normal looking notifications, right? Nothing really new there. But then we have some really cool customizations. Uh, recently opened apps are all available right there in the notifications bar. And you see you swipe left and right and get more than the four that you initially see. And we can clear notifications, do it that way. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. You can also hold down the home button just like normal. So there you go. And then you have your uh, usual eight. Let's see, HTC Leap, the little leap feature that lets you leap between home screens, still there. So press the home button again and you get it. And you can also do, see if I can get it to work. You can also do pinch to bring it up like that. And then you can hop from one home screen to another. Oops. So you don't have to, there we go. So you don't have to uh, swipe left and right between them all. So that's cool. It's nice to see it back. That was a really nice feature that HTC brought us in the uh, original sense last spring. Here's the launcher. Pretty standard. You got four icons wide. Um, some of the apps you see here aren't necessarily loaded up on the uh, my 4g my touch 4g by default um because this is rooted so but let's see there's the clock and i tell you what i really like here is the desktop clock that's really cool <laughs> when you get the uh the phone in a dock that's gonna look real nice and you gotta hit exit to get out of it and let's see, see, I got another email, and the trackball starts glowing. Uh, LED notifications is part of the ROM. Really, really nice. I like that a lot. So on the Nexus One, you get trackball notifications. Uh, flashlight. This showed up uh, officially on the Evo 4G when it got Froyo, but it's good to see it here again. Well, let's see what else we have. How about Friendstream? Yes, it's back. Uh, this is where you can aggregate Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter. HTC brought that with the new sense. I don't have any of those hooked in right now, but that's where you would get them all. We've seen that before. Uh, let's see. Here's the gallery. And looks pretty standard for HTC. Nothing really crazy there. There's all those screenshots uh, that we just took. Let's see. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Pretty standard gallery. And now how about, let's see, let's take a look at, well, let's take a look at the browser. That's kind of important, right? Little UI flukiness up there at the top, but it clears itself out nicely. And let's go see what Android Central looks like, shall we? I am on Wi-Fi. Um, radio's had a little issue. I don't know if it's a Timo AT&T thing, whatever, with the ROM. The ROM's still, you know, a tad buggy, and it's supposed to be right. It's a very early port, but still very cool that we get to play with it. So there we go. The page is not quite loaded up all the way. There we go. And it's pretty quick. Uh, let's look at the settings in the browser. Pretty standard stuff. It's still WebKit-based, just like every other Android browser in existence. Mostly. And kind of your standard uh, standard settings. So let's see, enable plugins. I always like to turn that to on demand. That way, like, flash content doesn't load until I tell it to. And let's see what else. What do we want to look at? How about... Ah, uh, yes, the media room. There's that T-Mobile TV that's already been uh, ripped out of the ROM and ported to other devices. Obviously, I'm not going to get it here. And as you can see, it doesn't work. But it's coming on the MyTouch 4G. Uh, let's see, how about my device? So this is where you can get to your T-Mobile account. And again, I'm not on T-Mobile right now, so ain't really gonna work, is it? But cool, they built that in. Go download more ringtones and sounds and voices and Wi-Fi alert. Oh no, oh no. Go back, go back. Oh, uh, how about... Mm, nah, nah, keep going. Let's see, all right. Yeah, we gotta talk about the little launcher bar down the bottom. So we have, oh, now see, it's gonna, gonna go a little uh, fluky on me again. 
Ah, we're back. All right. So you've got, ooh, come on, you can do it. You've got this little faves button. There we go. Introducing faves, right? That's always been a T-Mobile thing, my faves, faves, whatever. And that's where you can add your favorite contacts. There's how you bring up the launcher again. And now let's take a look at modes. This is kind of cool. Um, HTC Sense has scenes. This has modes. It's kind of the same thing. So you have standard kid zone, home, work. And then within those, you can customize different things. You can change the theme and you choose a theme when you first set up the phone. So you have seven here to choose from. And let's just pick, I don't know, how about, mm, mm, there we go. We'll pick downtown. I feel like downtown for some reason. That's where you can change the ringtone. You can change the uh, home screen wallpaper, the lock screen wallpaper, call forwarding setup for some reason. Uh, email notifications. And that's really cool. The kid zone is actually cool because you can set it up for your kids. It'll lock out things like text messaging. Um, it'll keep them from actually exiting that mode too, which is kind of nice. You can also get to the modes there through the, uh, if you push the uh, menu button. So that's cool. And as long as we're down there, let's go look at the uh, build prop on the about phone screen and just see exactly what we're dealing with. This is Android 2.2. Obviously it's a little different than uh, what we're used to on most other Android 2.2 builds. But the customizations are good. I like them a lot. They're different, but definitely well thought out. But it certainly is a different feel than what you're used to. Uh, let's see. How about... Let's look at the dialer. Let's look at the phone. There is your phone dialer. Pretty standard, but, you know, again, looks a little different. Whatever. And let's back out of that. Let's see, anything else we want to look at? How about stocks? No. Account setup, again, pretty typical. Genius button, so this is the setup screen. Genius button screen share, that's for DLNA. Uh, I see swipe is on board, always nice to see. Media room, we saw that. Video chat, again, will work on T-Mobile and on the official ROM, but not in this port. And there's the T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling. Again, not working, but we know it's coming, right? And you G2 fans should uh, get it on the G2 eventually, if not pretty soon. And you also have Wi-Fi hotspot. That is good to see, but of course you're going to get charged a little bit. So there you go. So there is a very, very quick look, folks, at the UI and the new software on the MyTouch 4G, which is coming eventually. Right now it's ported on the Nexus One, and we're going to play around with it more and see what else we see. So take it easy.